Hi friends, welcome back to Nessa's Nook. So today I need to make up some more tackle, homemade tackle seasoning. So I thought I'd bring you along for the ride. It's been a minute since I've made some. Um, so what I was doing is I grabbed a recipe offline that I've not tried before. So hopefully this one is good. I know I've made it a couple times before. There's videos for that. But what I was doing, because I'm lazy, <laughs> I wanted to... Um, Put things in the bigger thing because what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be four timing this recipe because this way I, I don't have to make it as often it's good for up to like six months so it's good to go but what I wanted to do is um, just figure out because I was figuring out just with the salt and I was figuring out how many things go into each container so hopefully it's going to make it a little bit easier and the video won't be as long so we'll we'll figure this one out so I'll bring it down here I have all these spices out here. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the stuff that's not so dark so it doesn't stain the stuff here. And, I guess my glasses doesn't matter one way if it's off or not. Um, the oregano, I'm gonna need two of the teaspoons, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I have, this is actually like a coffee scoop, that's two teaspoons. Um, the onion powder, is it says I'm supposed to use two but I love onions and to have a little bit more is fine with me so I'm doing I'm doing the three all right I'm gonna do the same thing with the garlic because I also like garlic All right, then um, I don't like as much salt, so I'm only going to be doing the two teaspoons, not the four of the salt. I don't believe anybody needs all the salt that things are in food. And it just seems like it's still so much. I'm not even going to put the full two teaspoons in here. I don't think we need that much salt, honestly. And then um, we need a total of eight teaspoons of um, cumin, all right? So if I remember right, this here is, the, the half a cup is four tablespoons. Let me, let me count that out real quick here. All right, the eight teaspoons is actually a quarter cup. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill that up. All right, then I'm going to need um, four tablespoons of the chili powder. And that I believe is the half cup, hold on. You know, when you're not a math wizard like I'm not, you second guess your math calculations. So that is gonna be a half a cup of the chili powder. Now it's going to be um, the paprika which is going to be four tables or teaspoons which is going to actually just be two of these coffee things again and they say smoked is best. I do actually have smoked so that's what I'm going to go ahead and use. And then they said you could use a little bit of the red pepper flakes which of course I forgot to grab. I don't want too much because I don't like spicy, but that's that's good. And then I need some pepper for so it's gonna be four um, teaspoons of pepper. That seems a little bit excessive on the pepper, honestly. All right. So what I'm going to do is mix this all together. Now I don't know for sure if you all have ever made this before, but there are just so many chemicals. I mean, not that I don't eat chemicals because I do because I snack and, you know, that's all over on potato chips and everything like that. But if you can control the most part of something, you know, why not try, right? Hopefully I won't sneeze. That smells absolutely amazing. So go ahead and pour this into my jar. 
and I'll finish shaking it up inside the jar. Now what I usually do is before I use this each time, I reshake this back up and then one tablespoon of mix to three quarter cups of water if you're making a taco seasoning. So this is pretty much um, what's in the jar, you know, or in the package that you get. Now, obviously, it costs quite a bit of money to um, buy all these spices, but I already have all these spices. So for me to do this, it's a lot cheaper. It's a no brainer for me to actually uh, try to save some money now you figure this is probably a good um as you figure it's got uh quite a few tablespoons um but you figure this is probably probably 10 or so packages made in that just a little bit of a time and of course i mean i can't help what are what is in the um you know if there's anything in the pepper like I don't know if that even tells uh, ingredients is just black pepper now I know that's you get this dehydrated onions now I don't know for sure if you guys are aware of this um I'll try to find the right container for this um when I was looking for garlic last um I don't shop at Costco but you could buy Costco stuff actually on Amazon um what you're going to want to try to find is the California garlic. Now, the reason for that supposedly is all the rest of the garlic pretty much comes from like China and such. And um, I don't know about you. I'm not a big fan of trusting, you know, other countries on a lot of the stuff. Um, I mean, obviously, sometimes you just have to and that's just there. That's all there is to it. But if you can avoid doing things out of the country and th buy things that are actually from our own country I think that's actually best so that's what I'm going to go ahead and be doing as much as I can and this came in like a, a three pack and it's um, a pound 16.6 ounces um, it wasn't too horribly expensive but it wasn't super super duper cheap but um, obviously like I said you have quite a bit of taco seasoning for that little bit of stuff most of us have all these spices probably already in our pantries um, so it's not like we're busting out trying to go out and buy all these different spices um, but even if you had to buy them from the dollar store or whatever you know it's still cheaper you know even like that container because this is something that I think this came from the dollar store you know $1.25 for that big amount you know so that's a good thing so let me know if you've ever made your taco seasoning before if you have did you try this one I'll be putting this down in the comments down below um, did, did you like it I mean did you stop using the packaged taco seasonings let me know in the comments down below and thank you very much for stopping by I hope you have a very blessed and wonderful day